Welcome. Mr. President, fellow Toastmasters, honored guests, welcome to Matthew's second speech. The title of my speech is How to be a Doctor in Six Minutes. For the speech purposes, I will use the word doctor to indicate the position. And it's going to be an organized speech, not a half hazard one. <laughs> How many of you guys know what do we need to do in order to be doctors? Any ideas? Get an MD. Excellent. <laughs> the answer is very simple. Join a medical school. The number of years needed vary. In my country, Syria is six years. The United States is four. Instead of six or four years, I'll let you know how to be a doctor in just six minutes and six steps. The first and easiest way to be a doctor is to start calling yourself a doctor from the beginning. <laughs> I didn't want to call myself a doctor when I started medical school, but my parents did. They actually started calling me a doctor when I was a child. <laughs> my mom kept saying, oh man, you're always on top of your class and you want to be a doctor in the future, so how, why don't we call you a doctor from now? I grew up and I enjoyed medical school. At that time, many others started to call me a doctor. They also started to ask me the nonsense medical questions like, my back hurts, do I have cancer? <laughs> I said to myself, if everyone calls me a doctor and I'm already a student doctor, so why don't I call myself a doctor from the beginning? The next step was to dress like a doctor. So I brought my, I purchased my that coat and my stethoscope and started wearing them from the first day. Same with my fellow students. With time, we realized we realize that wearing a, a lab coat all the time is not very comfortable, especially in summer. <laughs> it's the same for the stethoscope. We didn't use it too much in our first years. So it became, instead of like this, it became a part of my lab coat and later on part of my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Comes next, the thing that I spent five minutes doing, wear a tie, which gives you prestige. <laughs> With time, we will learn three things about ties. They are used in vascular surgeries. They carry more bacteria than your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and the more time you spend in medical school, the longer and thicker your tie will be. <laughs> Comes next. Look like a doctor outside the hospital. Buy and carry as many books as you can. Read, read, and read. Make everyone around you feel that you're really a good doctor. Spend your days in the libraries. You don't need to study there all the time because libraries are also a good place if you're looking for a quiet environment to have your lunch and enjoy free Wi-Fi. <laughs> comes next. Prepare to meet your patient. Your lab coat comes with pockets for a reason. Not only to store your breakfast bar in. Be ready to store thousands of sheets of paper, dozens of pens, and don't forget your student manual. Just in case someone asked you a medical question before, because you never know when your memory will shut down. The last and the most important part is to meet your patient. Dress nicely, make sure you're wearing your badge. Knock on the door, enter the room. Hello, Mr. Smith. This is Dr. Seth, our <coughs> physician here today. How are you, how do you feel? And then started ask them, asking them questions. What if you can't find a diagnosis? That's fine, because at the end you are going to tell them, we're not sure we need to, more, to run more tests in order to know more about you. What if the patient asks you a very challenging question? Tell them, I don't know the answer for your question, but I can tell you about something different. <laughs> this technique is also called the Donald Trump answering maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> what if the question was even more difficult? Then tell them, this is a very easy question. Even my attending knows. 
I will pay her so she can answer you. <laughs> After you're done with your question, ask the patient if they have anything else they want from you. Shake their hands again. Thank them. Exit the room like a victor. You're now a hero, and your mission is accomplished. They are very easy steps, right? Whether it's six minutes or six years, I want you to remember one thing. A Doctor of Medicine diploma is only a permit to continue learning. And the only way to continue learning is to practice, practice, and practice. I want you also to remember one more thing. The day I give a speech, there will be free candy. <laughs> Please enjoy. And thank you very much.